<sighs> I think it's high time to do a pickup video. Oh my gosh. It has been a long time. And every time I'm like, all right, let's do a pickup video, I get more shit. I'm like, okay, now let's do a pickup video. Wait, this is coming in two days. Let's do a pick. No, wait, I got something else coming in three days. Oh. Now it's time, as we're on the cusp of Black Friday, which is two days from tomorrow. Well, Thanksgiving is two days from tomorrow. We really know Black Friday is Black Thursday. Oh. Unbutton the collar. Crack open a beer. I know it's been a while. Where have I been? You know, life gets in the way. Shit. Jobs. Work. That is jobs. Um, just stuff. And I've had this stuff kind of set aside. Ready to do a video at some point. Now's that time. Let's just get started. All right. As you see, I got some Amiibo stacked. So let's just see what we got. Hey, there's Paulina from Kid Icarus. So, Paulina. There's Pit. These were all from Toys R Us. They were all on clearance except for one. Mega Man. I don't have a Toys R Us here in Bozeman. This was from a trip to Billings, Montana. Let me tell you, Toys R Us, oh my god. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> you think a place, Toys R Us, where a kid can be a kid, it would be a happy, great place, great, you know, music, fun employees. Oh my god, it's the most drab, disgusting, boring, monotonous, bad fluorescent lighting, just... Who the fuck wants to shop there? No wonder they're going out of business. But I'll take advantage of them clearancing some Amiibo. There's Samus. The Smash Brothers Samus. Speaking of uh, Samus, here is... This was not on clearance. It's the new Metroid Returns Amiibos with Samus and the Metroid. Right there. So, that was not on clearance. But it's a good price. Um, as you can see from the background here, you see when I'm playing, I'm taking a little break from it. Well, here are the three, the three amiibos. <laughs> the, we are the three amiibos. <laughs> Get Chevy Chase Martin Short and who's the other guy? Who? Steve Martin. Get him on. New sequel. The sequel to Three Amigos. The Three Amiibos. There's Peach. Martin Short would be Peach. Mario. Uh, Steve Martin would be Mario. And Bowser. Chevy Chase would be Bowser. Why not? Alright. So, as you can see... Of course, Super Mario Odyssey. No game, because it's right there. I do want to give a shout out. This copy of Super Mario Odyssey was a gift from a gentleman from a forum, Day One Patch. Day One Patch. It's a forum I joined when NeoGAF had its little episode. I am now, though, a member of Reset Era. I'm doing a lot of posting on Reset Era. I am Bo's man, if you will see me on Reset Era. Um, but I love this. This has got to be the first video game with lyrics in the liner notes. So you know the tune by now. Bum, 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 here we go, off the rails, don't you know it's time to raise our sails, it's freedom like you never knew, bam, 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 bam. don't need bags or a pass, say the word, I'll be there in a flash, you could say my hat is off to you, or we can zoom all the way to the moon, ah, from this great wide wacky world, jump with me, grab coins with me again, 
ba 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 It's time to jump up in the air. Jump up, don't be scared. Jump up and your cares were so away. And if the dark clouds start to swirl, don't fear, don't shed a tear, cause I'll be your one-up girl. I'm glad they put the lyrics and the liner notes for Super Mario Odyssey. This game. This game, y'all. If you haven't got it, if you haven't found the Switch yet, it's it's worth the price of admission. Right now, I'm not going to put it... It's right behind Galaxy. But then again, I, I'm not a maybe halfway or so. And just I'm just playing. There was an area in New Donk City. I'm just sitting there like with a controller like... This, this is a grin from ear to ear. Like, oh my god, this is fun. This is so good. This is such a good game. Um, now, the thing about Super Mario Odyssey is I won this in the contest. However, I did have it pre-ordered from Amazon. And when I was on that Billings trip, I joined Gamers Club Unlocked at Best Buy. Best Buy... Is the, the Billings Best Buy is the nearest one to me, about 200 miles away. Well, maybe not that far, 130, 140 miles away. I joined Gamers Club Unlocked, so I uh, this finally activated the, the, the customer service at Best Buy, right there, just all thumbs down. I cannot give it a worse review. Um, I bought this, I believe, early October, October 6. It did not activate until like three weeks later. I could use it. So, the Wednesday before Odyssey released, I pre-ordered it from Best Buy, because not only does Best Buy give the 20% off like Amazon, it also had a $10 reward certificate on top of that, basically making uh, Odyssey $36. I tried to cancel my Amazon pre-order right after, but they had already shipped it. And then I won the contest. So I had two other copies of Odyssey coming my way. And I'm like, oh, I guess I can return them. But I'm like, you know what? I'll put them up and, you know, make someone else's day. Technically, I bought each for $47.99, $48. I'll put them on Craigslist for $50 bucks and, I, and, and see, maybe make a couple dollars and help somebody else save 10 bucks. who's going to walk into the Walmart or the Target here, the GameStop here, and pay 60 They can pay 50 and get this really great game. Uh, Best Buy, by the way, sent the uh, coin, the Cappy coin. Um, this will be available. It's still available at Best Buy, I believe, if you buy Odyssey at Best Buy. So if you want the Cappy coin, there it is. Anyway, um, I actually uh, texted a buddy and said, are you, hey, are you buying Odyssey? And he said, I'll wait. And I'm like, well, I've got these extra copies coming. Like, oh, what are you selling them for? I'm like, I, for you, dude, same price I got it for, $48. So, and then the other one I put on the Facebook group, and you're going to see... Um, he, he asked me if I'd do a trade. I said, sure, what you got? In this pickup video, you're going to see what I got for one copy of Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch. And then I did another trade with him as well. He, I got the hookup. So you're going to see that in just a little bit. Oh, just, just wait. Oh, it's good. Uh, this was an Amazon purchase. Uh, Sin Mora EX. I've been wanting to play this game for a while. I know it's on the Vita, but for some reason it's not compatible with the PS TV. So, I know I've got it on the Vita, but I don't have a Vita. And if it's not compatible with the PS TV, I can't play it. Uh, so, it's on the Switch. I believe this was, I want to say $14.99, $15.99, sometime around there. I pulled the Switch. Ha, huh, see what I did there? And picked up this. Did more. I also bought this from Amazon. Uh, G, no, the Screen Protector Glass 2-Pack. These are, it's a 2-Pack, so I've got one more in here of screen protectors for the Switch. And uh, let's pull it out of there. I mean, I don't know if you're not going to be able to see it very well. But, I mean, this on the actual Switch... Is plastic so this is a glass because this is touch capacitive touch or whatever it's called and uh, 
Maybe you can see it. I don't know. No, you can't. Well, maybe. Actually, I'm really proud of myself. I'm usually really bad at putting on, like, screen protectors. Like, if I get a new phone, like, go to Verizon. He's like, dude, do you want a screen protector? I'm like, yeah, can you put it on? Because I always wind up with air bubbles and dust and shit. But this one um, came with all kinds of shit to get the dust off. A wet wipe, then a dry wipe, and then this thing. And then you put the protector on. It's really awesome. So this, I've already got protected. And I've got another one. I don't know, maybe I'll call my buddy, like, hey, you got a protector? Because... The idea of using the switch is you're going to be moving this thing in and out of the dock a whole lot. You're going to be in and out, in and out. Eventually, this thing, you're going to mess up or put it in wrong, and you're going to ding your screen. You're going to want a protector on it. I will say I do notice that with this protector, it is a little bit of a tighter fit in here. Just a little bit of a tighter fit. It, it, it's a little bit more cozy in there. But the screen is protected. Uh, these came highly rated. They were recommended in a... Uh, what, what's the first thing I should buy for my new Switch thread? And in the new Reset Era uh, forum. And the first person said, get this uh, protector. Had great reviews on Amazon. It's really cheap. I want to say it's less than $10. It's 8 or 9 bucks, And you get two of them. So if you fuck up the first one, you put on this... You try again. Or you if you fucking ding around like, you know, you... You know, ding that protector, take it off and put this one on. Or you get a second switch, you hold on to it. So there that is. Uh, I, <laughs> as much as I can recommend a screen protector, I'll recommend uh, this brand. Screen protector, it's not officially licensed. And the instructions actually say, you know, clean your smartphone or whatever. So they don't, but it does say on the back for Nintendo Switch down there. So definitely recommend it. I pre-ordered this too when I uh, when I joined Gamers Club Unlocked and it be, finally became official. I haven't opened it up yet. It is the uh, Steel Book Gold Edition of the Fractured Butthole South Park. It is a Steel Book and it has the Season Pass. So all the DLC they're going to do, I'm going to have, and it has some tally bonus content. So uh, Steel Book South Park. Now here's the deal. It's still saying this order is pending. Now, in the box, excuse me for a minute. Take me to go to my fat ass. When they sent it, I don't know why. They sent two. I've been charged for one. But like I said, they still have my order on the website pending. Like, this is pending. And if we can't ship your game to you until December 2nd, we'll go ahead and cancel your order. I, a part of me just wants to, like, listen, I'm, I'm tired of your shit. I've received it. You actually sent me two. I'm going to send you one back. If you fucking charge me twice, I want you to credit me once. And I don't know. Like I said, Best Buy, I, I love the discounts. I love the, the, the reward certificates. I, I, I'm, I love their Black Friday ad. I'll be spending money there for Black Friday. But the, the customer support calling... Maybe it'd be easier if I had a store here and that I could go to. But I don't. I, the nearest store is 140, 150 miles away. It's not going to happen. So I need your, you to fucking get on the ball, guys. All right, what else we got here? This was, uh, I found this, I believe, at a thrift store. This is just one of those, it has Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo hookups, like three-in-ones. I thought it'd be nice to kind of, you know, keep close to this TV so when I get systems at garage sales or whatever, I can just throw them on and test them and not have to fiddle with cords. Just have this ready, plug it in. So that's why I picked that up. This was a clearance at Target for $8.98. It is King's Quest, the complete collection. Uh, nice uh, throwback at Sierra game. And uh, finding it for 9 bucks, I thought was really, really sweet. So, that's cool. Alright. Moving on. I can throw this away now that I've shown you my Gamers Club Unlocked. It really is a good service, and I would recommend it if you've got a Best Buy anywhere near you. Just... You know, I hope they got good employees and that those good employees stick around. 
All right, what well, we got here, I, I've picked up a ton of Wii titles over the past few months. Um, really picking up these Wii titles while they're low. Uh, some really good games out there. And uh, just get them before the prices go up. Because I know the Wii is known for its shovelware. And in no way am I going after a complete collection and all the fucking nonsense that's on the Wii. But there are some really good games. And the prices of some of the ones are kind of starting to creep up. So now's the time to hop on board some of these titles if you want them. I know I bought this online off Amazon. Uh, I, I didn't save the thing. I know it was... I think I got it for... No, I bought this off eBay for $9.99. I thought it was a really good deal. I do have this on PlayStation 4, uh, 3. But the Wii version is different. It's more cartoony. It's not the realistic. And I think the story is a little different as well. But it's still uh, voice acted. And I've heard it's really... It's a really good game, and it's different from the 360 PS3 versions. So even if you played the PS3 or 360 version, this one's worth popping in the Wii and playing, from what I've heard. Uh, Guitar Hero Smash Hits. This was a Goodwill find, I believe, for $2.99, $1.99, $2.99. It's one of the one or two uh, Guitar Hero games that holds a value of around $10, $15, so... Oh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. I owned this. This is one of the first games I ever got for the Wii. I got it for Christmas. I believe I got it the, for Christmas the year I got my Wii. And I don't know, I must have traded it in to GameStop or something. So, I like this. The motion controls are pretty decent in this. It's a complete revamp of the, of the very first Tomb Raider game from PS1. I know it's on uh, PS2, and I think it's as part of the Tomb Raider collection on PS3 and 360. Uh, but this is the only one with motion controls. And uh, so once again, pretty unique title to have. Furu Furu Park. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Furo Furo Park. Uh, saw this at their local retro store. And I just kind of it kind of caught my eye. He had it out on his shelf, and uh, I just started reading the description. And from retro title classics to quirky new experiences, this collection of ultra fun mini games, and then it says thirty mini games in all: Arachnoid, Bubble Bobble, Pocky and Rocky, um, all these old title games. So I was like, are they the full old versions of these games? Or just kind of like little mini versions? I think they're just mini versions. But it was kind of just a unique little title. He was selling it for $8. It's about what it's worth. It's not valuable or rare or anything. But it is, I think, just one of those unique Wii titles that only the Wii had. And it's using some old retro games to in kind of a new way. Kind of like the, uh, the NES remix on the Wii U. And finally, I think I said this in uh, one of the final episodes, or yeah, close to the final episodes of the $5 game box, that this was waiting to be shown in a pickup video. Well, that was like two months ago. Well, here it is. Castle of Shigigami 3. Here's one of those Wii titles. Really kind of hard to find. Price is creeping up. I believe I got this for $45. Uh, bullet Hell Shooter. Really beautiful. Really gorgeous. Um, you can find other, um, like Castle Shigigami 1 and 2. I believe Gunbird on the Dreamcast is Castle Shigigami 1 and maybe 2. Um, so they, they've been coming out in America under different names. I know there was a Sa Castle Shigigami port um, on PS2 for America, but they, they watered it down. They took out some stuff, and it's not considered very good. This is considered pretty good. And I was really happy to find it. All right, let's move some stuff over, shall we? Oh my goodness. Let's do this stack right here. Oh, you know I had it with the Metroid Amiibos, right? So there's Metroid Samus Returns. I just got the base version right here. I kind of wish I I wasn't going to get the collector's version. I'm like ten dollars more for for a soundtrack CD. No big deal. Unfortunately, that collector's edition 
came with a reversible cover that had an old Game Boy Metro 2 Return of Samus cover. And I was like, when I saw that the vanilla version didn't have that reversible cover, I was like, I should have paid $10 more for the collector's edition. Mm -hmm. But still, Metroid Samus Returns, awesome. Oh, yes. Brand new sealed off eBay. I bought, or won an auction. I sniped it. There was like nine bidders on it, and I came in, I was sitting there watching it. The funny thing is, I already had it from GameStop. I It's usually out of stock in GameStop.com, but I found it in stock one day for like $19.99, and I'm sitting on a ton of GameStop credit, as you know if you if you watch the channel. And so I had it, but it was I, it actually came with the case, no, but no manual. It was case and, and game only, no manual. So I'm sitting here like, well, this one's sitting at $24. I'm going to put in $25, and I'll get... A freaking brand new sealed one. If I win, I'm like, but there's at least eight people watching this right now. I'll put in a bid, but somebody's gonna come in a second after me and snipe it. I'm not gonna win. I won. Luckily, I was still within the return window of GameStop. I returned it, got my uh, credit back, and I actually, uh, with the credit, with part of the credit, can't show you, but here's the receipt. I got two years of PlayStation Plus. For forty dollars a pop, so save twenty dollars on that. So I'm sitting on PlayStation Plus for a while, thanks to GameStop. But this is a unique little uh, RPG made by uh, Koi, and uh, one of those unique titles. And it's it, it's I mean, it's cutesy. You look at it like oh, that's cute and kitty. And uh, no, it's actually a, a, you read some reviews. It's actually a really decent RPG on the Wii. So there it is. A Puna. <laughs> and it has Poon in the name. <laughs> oh, I bought this from Best Buy. They had a sale for $35, yeah, $34.99, but I'm Gamers Club Unlocked. I got it for $27.99. Near Automatic. Auto, uh, automata. 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 A game I've been watching all year. Three PS4 games I've been watching all year. This... Neo and Horizon. Uh, saw the sale on this. Now with the Black Friday ads coming out, it's actually going to be cheaper on Black Friday. So, oh well, I missed out. I could have saved a few more bucks. Horizon right now is going around twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars on Best Buy right now, which means it's sixteen or fifteen ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine with the twenty percent. However, there's a complete edition of Horizon coming out December fifth. So I'm going to wait. I think Neo is on sale at Walmart on Black Friday for 20 So I'm going to be picking those PS4 titles I've been watching all year coming up within the next few weeks. But here's the first one. Nothing but rave reviews about this online. And I love the first one. The first one on PS3 is kind of a rarity. It holds its value of around 25 30 bucks, And I've heard nothing but great stuff about this. I can't wait to dive in. Let's go ahead and do this retro. This little stack of retro right here. Oh yes, this was a buy two, get one free from GameStop on retro. We picked up uh, Gradius 3. Wild Gunman. And Popeye. I played the hell out of Popeye as a kid in the arcade. Showbiz Pizza, Goldmine. If there was a Popeye machine, I at least put a dollar in it. I loved Popeye. Wild Gunman, I was never good at. I couldn't... I, the first guy got me I, is a waste of a quarter. I may have to find a CRT. Because I know it's not going to work on this TV. And plug it in and use the uh, light gun. Use my little Hyperkin uh, Retron 1. And uh, play some... Uh, try Wild Gunman out for the first time in over 30 years. 35 years, probably. And Gradius 3, what can you say? It's Gradius. It's a great shooter. All right, I'll stack the retro over here. Another Wii title. I found this at a local pawn shop. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles: The Crystal Bearers, and uh, it's one of those titles. I'm like, like I said, I'm trying to pick up some of these Wii titles before they become really hard to find and a little bit more pricey. So really get that that Wii collection up, and they had it for five bucks. 
And they write the prices in Sharpie. I don't like it, but oh well. So I'm like, hell yeah, it's complete. And wouldn't you know, there's the disc, and it's in good shape. But behind the disc was that. That was in the case behind the Final Fantasy disc. The Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort double disc. That thing, last I checked, is, you know, worth about 25 bucks just the disc. I think GameStop trades it in for, you know what, let's check. I got the computer right behind the camera. Let's take a look. Last I checked, it was around 16 bucks. And I know they got a pro day coming up here in two days that I would get an extra, well, I'd get an extra 10% already and an extra 10% on top of that. So let's just take a look here real quick. It's really, I could not believe that. I could not believe that that was sitting behind the disc. And I'm like, $5 for a game that I kind of wanted to add anyway and then have that disc behind it? Uh, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. Trade value right now, $14.40. Well, that's elite. $13.20. But like I said, there's going to be extra 20% here in two days if I choose to trade it in. So that's really cool to get Crystal Bear. Limited run games, baby. You know I got that Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap right there. I had to open it up and I had to flip the cover. Because it has the uh, the regular cover. But they got that sweet Master System cover on the reversible side. So you know I reversed that. Um, this came, or came online for limited run games a week before the limited run of... Night Trap, which I missed out on, and I'm still really pissed off about that. And I haven't really looked at limited run games since missing on that Night Trap, because I really, really wanted it. And, uh, oh well. That sucks. And they put, what's this? It's trash. Alright. But, since we're on limited run... This was a pre-order that I think I pre-ordered a year ago, almost a year ago, or maybe even over a year ago, around this time last year. I pre-ordered from Limited Run the Skull Girls Second Encore. This is what I feel they should do. I don't know why they don't do more of this. Like, hey, we're going to put out this game, and we're going to put up for pre-orders for two weeks. And however many copies are pre-ordered, or the copies are going to get made, it's not going to be available in its form after, after we... We take pre-orders. It's done. So here it is. There's Skull Girls. It came with a soundtrack CD. A uh, kind of a... I don't know what that's called. A lithiograph or some sort. I don't know what's called. And uh, the Limited Run collectible card. And there's a Limited Run sticker. I mean... <laughs> I've... This guy, the guy from Limited Run, like, did an interview of some sort with uh, Metal Jesus Rocks. And he's like, you know, it's hard to really judge demand. I'm like, dude, the second you announced that you were putting out um, Night Trap, like, the internet almost blew up. <laughs> People who would never order from Limited Run were like, I want a copy of Night Trap for my PS4. So how did you not know that you that you could easily sell? And I know you want to keep it limited. Hey, amongst PS4 owners, 30,000 is limited. Only 30,000. That's not a lot amongst worldwide PS4 owners. I mean, expand your horizons of what limited. Limited is more than 10,000 or 15,000. You can go 30, 40,000 and still be limited. You know, take a marketing class, guys. Or, you know, be a little bit of a capitalist. It's all right. Profit's not bad. Retro game store pickups. Uh, I don't know why. I thought I didn't have it, but I do. So there that is. I had a lot of store credit there, and I've been sitting on it for a while. And there were some things he wouldn't let me buy. Like, man, you, I know you traded in a bunch of common stuff for that credit. I'm not going to let you get really good shit for the common stuff credit. 
Uh, one thing he did let me get was Balloon Fight. So that's neat to have. And he finally relented and said, yeah, you know what? You've been sitting on that credit for so long. I'll go ahead and let, let you use credit for this. Rocket Knight Adventures for the Genesis, baby. I've been eyeing this game, this title, for quite some time. Manual's not in the best of shape. It's a little, but it's, you know, relatively good for being 20 years old or whatever. And cart is in amazing condition. Uh, my Genesis needs some love. I, I've got some good titles for my Genesis, but when I compare it to my NES, Super NES, oh man, it's not looking too hot. All right, you know what? I still have a long way to go, and this thing is just over 30 minutes gone. There's probably been a skip in here that I missed. I'm going to stop the camera, then we're going to put up part two. So this will come in two parts. Pick up video part one, pick up video part two, coming up in just a moment, or just a moment for me, uh, just a click away from for you guys. So look for part two on my channel. It should maybe be next. If the YouTube algorithm thing is good, it's probably up here somewhere. I don't know. So part two coming up.